everyone, it's Tolly Rose and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like my level of, um, what's the word? My effort level is just dramatically dropped recently. Honestly, I've been wanting to film this video for ages, but this was literally the only time I had to film it. You'll realize why in this video, because my life has been so chaotic recently and I just don't even know where to start. So yeah, today I'm gonna be doing a little mukbang slash life update just to give you a big rundown on what's been going on in my life recently and even over the past like year and yeah just kind of open up a little bit to you all because I feel like I don't do that on my channel enough like I kind of just do vlogs and hauls and that's as deep as it gets like I don't really get deep with you all so that's what this video is going to be i'm just going to let everything out on the table um i'm not doing a q and a i was going to do a q and a but then there's certain topics that i want to discuss which i feel like i won't be able to get across if i did a q and a so i just thought i would do a mukbang because i've never done one before and i realized that when I wanted to do this video i was like oh my god i've never done a mukbang so i'm gonna do a mukbang also in this video if i sound really ill it's because i am um i've had like a cold slash cough slash sore throat for the past like three days now and it just will not go so um if my voice sounds like it's struggling to come out that is why because i physically can't talk right now um and yeah this is what we're dealing with right now so yeah let's get on in with the video so i've actually ordered sushi which is honestly one of my favorite meals ever so i've ordered this it's like a 20 box of sushi and it's literally like 11 pounds i don't even know what the sushi place is called um and i've also got some ed edamame i never know how to say that but it looks like it's got some like spices on there which looks delicious and then i've also got a diet coke not my favorite drink but it was the only fizzy option on there um and then i've got some chopsticks which uh, i'm not entirely sure how to use i mean i try my best but do you hold them like that or do you hold them like i don't know i don't know any other way of holding them cheers Trust me to spill it down me. Right, what do I do first? Do I eat first or do I talk first? I don't even know. Um, let's attempt to try the chopsticks. It's literally like 10 o'clock at night, guys. What am I doing? Mm-hmm. That's good. I guess the first thing I want to talk about is... Hmm. This is going to be difficult because I'm really hungry. Um... So the first thing I want to talk about is a really exciting thing. Um, so, drum roll please. Drrr. Me, Chloe and Liv are going on a girls holiday in a couple of days. And yeah, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Um, so whilst you're watching this video, I think I'm actually going to try and upload this video the day that we're flying. So that's how soon it is. It was such a last minute thing. Like, let me tell you, booking that trip was so stressful. Um, but we did it and we booked it. Trying to get all three of us off at the same time on the same week was so difficult. And that's why it ended up being so last minute because we were all trying to get the same week off and one of us couldn't and then the other one couldn't do a different week. So we literally like filed it down to this one week that we could all do. And yeah we booked the holiday which is so exciting so me and Claire and Liv are going to Zanti in a couple of days and we're staying there for like just under a week we're going for six days because like I said it was so difficult for us all to get time off we've never gone on a girls holiday all together me and Liv went on a girls holiday with some of our other friends um but that was literally like years ago um me Chloe and Ben and Jack we all went on a like couples holiday literally like two years ago, three years ago, three years ago, it was 2019, um, but that is the only holidays we've ever, we've ever had, so I've never actually gone on holiday like me, Chloe and Liv, so it's going to be so much fun, the best holiday ever, obviously I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing, so we've got so much more holiday content coming, you're not even ready for it, I've got some hauls coming as well, just before like the holiday content starts again, but yeah, basically it's all go, so I basically unpacked my suitcase and packed it again, because 
and we're going on holiday again. I think I'm going to try some of this ed edamame. Ed edamame. Is that how you say it? Please someone tell me. I'm really interested what's on it. There's like weird like spicy things on it. It's warm. Okay. That was really nice. That was so good. This is how I used to feel about YouTube. So that's another thing I want to talk about. I want to become way more chill and like not so anal about my YouTube channel. I think I really, because I was so desperate to grow on there, I was getting so like military about it. And I was like, I need to upload on this day and that day. I don't know if you noticed recently, I literally, the schedule has just gone out of the window. I used to be so like, I need to post every Wednesday and Sunday. And that's because everyone always says like, um, consistency is key but to me sometimes it doesn't work to be like I need to do I need to post a video on a Wednesday because if I haven't got the resources to film it before like on a Wednesday then I panic and then I'm like well I have to do it on a Sunday now and it's just so ridiculous because I end up missing out on uploads um, so I've now resorted to the other option which is just trying to post twice a week but not bothering too much when I post um, just doing it when it suits me basically so the next big thing i want to talk about <laughs> i'm moving house <laughs> this has been something i've wanted to share with you for literally over a year well over a year i'm from lancashire i lived in lancashire for 11 years until my parents my mum and dad decided to move us down to cornwall for like a better life and for a better upbringing whatever um and we lived down there for like nine years and unfortunately my parents split up and just a lot of horrible stuff happened when we lived down there and I, th I guess we kind of ran away from our issues so me mum and grandma I think it was in 2019 so nearly three years ago moved back up north um I obviously had Ben up here my grandma had her sister and her family and my mum had her family up here and I obviously have like my dad's side and my mum's side all up here and it just made sense for us to be up here at that time because we were all going through a lot and we kind of needed the people closest to us so we moved up here not really having a plan not really knowing what we were doing we just found a house that we liked put our names down for it bought it lived it and that was the end of it then and obviously in my head I was like right I need to sort my life out because in 2019 it was probably I mean from about 2016 to 2019 was like some of the worst years of my entire life I was so I will say like depressed um I've never really said that before but I was so depressed I was so down like the lowest point I've ever been at and um I just needed to get away I needed to escape I needed to escape my life which was down there um and that felt like the right thing to do as much as running away from your problems isn't the right thing to do for me it, it did help me and um I am grateful that we moved away from it just to get me out of that space and that time um like for selfish reasons um but when we moved up here I was like right so I'm gonna get a really good job that I enjoy I'm gonna find a job that I adore um because up until that point I'd never really enjoyed a job I'd never stuck at a job before um and then I was like I'm gonna do my driving lessons I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then Covid hit and basically two years of us being up here was just Covid basically Covid hit around like obviously in 2020 as we all know and I started my job which I'm now doing I'm still working at um and I met the loveliest people I've literally enjoyed working at that job more than I've worked enjoyed working anywhere in my life and yeah I've really enjoyed it and I've obviously started doing my driving lessons that's another thing um I've booked my driving test so that's coming up soon I'm actually going to bring it forward because of this whole moving situation um which I'll get into so long story short we came up here for like just to escape basically and it was never really we never really talked about it but for me it was never a long-term thing I never wanted to be up here forever like it's not a place that I wanted to live forever um I just thought it was being up here for a few years but then obviously Covid happened and put us back so much so at the beginning of 2021 so the beginning of last year around January time we decided all together that we would put the house up for sale and look for places down in Cornwall and move back down to Cornwall 
um, because obviously I have my dad in Cornwall. My brother lives with my dad in Cornwall. He's currently living with us. Um, but for the most part, he's living and based down in Cornwall with my dad. Obviously, Chloe's in Cornwall and everything that I know from basically, I lived there for nearly 10 years of like my adulthood, teenagehood life. So my home in my heart of hearts is down there in Cornwall. I always have felt that connection to it. And if you notice last year, I used to go down literally every month because I just missed it so much. We all miss it so much. And obviously after COVID and everything, we could go back to kind of normal life and going back down. And we just felt this like, oh, like we just want to be down there. And we would probably never settle until we were down there. So yeah, we did put the house up for sale at the beginning of last year and um, the house didn't sell up until this point. So it has literally only just sold at the beginning of this year, which is crazy. It's taken a year to sell, which means we are well on our way. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to do this video before it gets so crazy that I don't have chance to tell you that we're moving. Um, but yeah, we're moving to Cornwall. We currently don't have a house in Cornwall. We have the caravan. Um, and obviously we have my dad's house, so I don't know what's gonna happen over the next month to two months. Um, might be even less than a month, we don't actually know. Um, it's just all very crazy here. So yeah, I'm going on holiday in a few days for a week. I get back and I could be moving in like a couple of weeks and I haven't packed a single thing in my house. We don't know where we're moving to. It's just all so crazy. I'm hoping that when we move down, um, we can settle somewhere and have a house all together and then I can start looking at places for myself because I've wanted to move out for quite a while now and obviously with this whole thing of like us moving down to Cornwall I I didn't want to start looking up here because I knew that we'd be moving down so yeah it was just all it's all been a crazy time and it's been such a weird time from when we put the house up for sale up until now because we feel like we've just been sort of in limbo like waiting for it to sell I'm like are we moving are we not I didn't want to start anything and then have to finish it um like my driving lessons I didn't want to start doing driving lessons and then have to quit and then I just got to a point where I was like do you know what I'm just gonna do them anyway and I'm so glad I did so yeah I'm having to bring my driving lesson my driving test forward because it was supposed to be in like August and hopefully by then I think we will have moved I don't know what I'm saying hopefully so like I said I'm gonna be I'm gonna try and be a little bit more chill on here and doing more vlogs like maybe some packing videos like really letting you in on everything that's going on in my personal life I feel like I haven't been able to fully share everything because I've had so much hidden and like oh I can't say that because we don't know if we're moving yet we don't know if like I've, everything's been very like I don't know what's going on so I feel like now I've told you everything that's going on in my life I'll be able to share a lot more and I can be a lot more chill on my channel and just let you in on my life. So um, yeah, let me know what videos you'd like to see, like pack with me videos for moving and house tours whenever we find a house. I'll definitely keep you updated on the house situation, where we end up living, what ends up, what we end up doing, whatever happens. Um, but we're not gonna be homeless because we have a caravan, so at least we have that. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. I've eaten quite a lot of sushi. I mean, not a lot, but I'm probably gonna finish that off. It's really hard to talk and eat at the same time. I found that really difficult. And I've just remembered, I have done a mukbang before with Chloe. We did a McDonald's mukbang, so I'm a liar. But I've never done one like, just on my own in China. Um, so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this chatty video. And whilst you're watching this, I'll be on holiday, so. Look out for the holiday content, the holiday pics on Instagram, and there will be holiday vlogs coming, moving vlogs coming. I just, yeah, I don't even know. Ow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to this point in the video, then thank you so much. It's been a long one. It's been a really long, old, rambly one. Um, but yeah, love you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.